I'm Alan Davis, I'm the Professor of Vascular Surgery at Imperial College London and I have an honorary contract at Imperial College NHS Trust. I am going to talk to you a little bit this, today about the evidence-based guidelines that have been produced by the NHS. Varicose veins affect up to 35% of the population. They basically are dilatations of the ve veins in the leg which can often cause symptoms such as pain, itching and you can get subsequent complications such as phlebitis and ulceration. There are however a cohort of patients in whom they are purely cosmetic and that, that cohort of patients do not need to have any form of intervention. Over the last tw 20 years we've been seen significant developments in the way in which varicose veins are treated, moving away from traditional sur surgery which involved a cut in the groin and people having to have general anaesthesia which was painful. We've now developed a, co a group of endovenous techniques looking at thermal ablation such as laser and radiofrequency or injection with something called foam sclerotherapy. These newer techniques have all been evaluated through the NICE process and the NICE process has come out with a recommendation that the endovenous techniques should be used rather than surgery and, and have also made it very clear that people who have got symptomatic varicose veins should not be offered compression therapy as a first line treatment if they are suitable either for endovenous ablation or even surgery. My vascular surgical colleagues and I are happy to support the NHS evidence-based intervention program as this is fully supportive of the NICE guidance with respect to the management of patients with varicose veins. This clearly states that patients who have symptomatic veins should be referred to a vascular service for evaluation and treatment. The key other factor is the fact that we want to reduce the regional variation in referral patterns and treatments of patients with varicose veins by having a countrywide refer clear guidance in England as to whom should be referred and who should be treated should allow us to do away with the significant regional variation that we see and should overall improve patient outcomes.